guys and welcome to a new vlog. In today's video, we are doing a spring refresh in my closet. I am very excited to do this because it is a beautiful 78 degrees here in Chicago. We're finally having the beautiful weather and I couldn't be more excited. So the first thing I did was go in my closet and bring out my little bright colored spring romper that is one of my favorite things to wear. It has the pockets and it has this little uh, part that goes over the chest so you don't have to worry about wearing covers. Those little details mean so much to me. But <laughs> anyway, changing over to a spring and summer wardrobe can be a little overwhelming and I just thought I would share some of my best tips with you guys today. When the weather gets warm and we get excited about bringing out those dresses, rompers, bright colors, we tend to have a bunch of different pieces that we try to put together and it doesn't always turn out like we think it will. It doesn't always look really put together and we put it on and we'd look in the mirror and we're like this just doesn't feel like i expected that's why i thought i would share a couple of tips with you guys today go ahead and give the video a thumbs up consider subscribing if you do enjoy today's video thank you so much for breakfast i am making kind of lox style it's not a bagel because i don't want the bread I am currently on a weight loss journey, as many of you already know, and it's been taking me so long to lose weight, and I'm finally at the point where I'm getting to lose one to two pounds a week. I'm seeing the results. It is, yeah, it's just taken forever. I don't know if it's due to my age, my slow metabolism, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so today's breakfast, we have smoked salmon, some cucumber, avocado, and I'm gonna put this all together, and I have some boiled eggs. All right, I just finished eating and I realized that I cannot wear bright orange liquid lipstick when I don't have foundation on because I was looking at the footage. I was like, girl, that looks so bright like a crayon. So I removed it and just put a gloss on. Just thought I would say that. And before I go upstairs and transition my closet over to spring, I wanted to show you guys the nails that I picked up from Ulta. If you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen these. Kiss had had a sale recently. I think it's still going on. Uh, the press-on nails. Press-on nails have come such a long way. And I thought that these were really cute. A tip that I shared with you guys on Instagram is I put a little bit of nail glue on top of the adhesive. So it makes my nails last two to three weeks. These are a little bit longer um, for those days that I want just extra long nails. And then this one is my absolute favorite. It has that iridescent, very natural look to it, perfect for all occasions. I think I might put these on today or tomorrow. If you're a press on nail kind of girl, those are, Kiss is just a good brand in general. But yeah, I thought those were some great ones. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. My first tip, if you haven't already done so, I recommend going through your closet and taking out everything that is worn, torn, missing buttons, zipper doesn't work, has stains on the collar or armpit area. It's time to donate or retire those clothing items and just purchase new ones or work with what you already have. So tip number two is to go through your closet and pick out outfits or singular clothing items that you know look great on you, that fit well, that you absolutely love, and keep those in there. And then take everything out that you don't absolutely love. If you haven't picked it up in the past couple of months, 
you probably don't love it. It just eliminates trying stuff on and not feeling good in it, having to change clothes. That takes a lot of time. And that brings us to tip number three. Tip number three is to go through your closet and put actual outfits together. Make sure you feel great in it. That's number one. Make sure the fabric is comfortable. I don't know about you guys, but comfort is number one and then style and then so on and so forth. Take a day that you have some time and try it on the outfit. And when you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, that looks so good. Take a picture and that picture will reveal to you how you really look in that outfit. And this way you can just pull out the hanger and talk top and bottom was already put together and you know that it's something that you love. This eliminates so much time and I absolutely love doing this at every season. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my jackets, coats, winter things and do the transition. Before I do that, let me share my last tip, which is to take those pictures that you took of you in that outfit and save them in your phone. This way, when you have a day when you're like, what should I wear today? I'm gonna go shopping with the girls or I have a date day or whatever it may be. You can just scroll through and you're like, ooh, that looks so cute. And you know exactly what to put on. You know how you're gonna feel in it. You know that everything is going to look perfect. All you have to do is probably get a bag that matches. Now when creating the outfit, sometimes I don't put the top garment with the bottom garment on one hanger, but I just put one right in front of the other. So I have a beautiful pair of dusty pink linen pants that are high-waisted and very nice. And I wanna pair it with just a basic white tank top. And so I'll just put them together in the closet and hang it up like that. So I already know that this is an outfit. I have a pair of ripped up white shorts with a white tank top that I'll wear. And then for a nice pop of spring color, I have this pink striped button down shirt that I'll just wear openly over the whole thing. A brown bodysuit with a pair of black jogger linen pants, and this will go together. I'm really loving bodysuits for spring and summer this year. It's gonna be my go-to, as I'm sure you can tell. I went on Amazon and bought like some type of bodysuit in every color, but um, white linen pants, definitely a classic, a staple, and then a bone-colored bodysuit. So it'll look like that, nice and chic and easy. And I do a similar thing with my shoes. All of my fall and winter boots are up top and then my spring and summer at the bottom. So I'll just transition and do a flip-flop where the boots go to the bottom, spring and summer go up top. This way it's easy to grab and I don't have to shuffle through the shoes to find what I'm looking for if I'm ever in a hurry. If you've been following me for a while, you know that initially I had my closet organized in a way where it was darkest to lightest because I thought it looked the most aesthetically pleasing in that regard and I felt really good when I came into my closet. But lately I have realized that it's more functional for me to have outfits put together so that I can just grab and go like I said. So this has just been such a major time saver and a more organized way that's also functional that I can feel good about. Bonus tip, if you can press your clothes or steam your clothes right after they get out of the laundry and then hang them up in your closet, this is going to help with your outfit selection so much more because how many times are we like, oh, I would love to wear that long white linen top to go over my bodysuit or tank top, but it's wrinkled. Or I would love to wear the linen pants as we all know that wrinkle very easily. You don't grab for those and it just kind of makes it like, oh, well, what else can I wear? What else, what else? Jeans is a great option too, but sometimes if you leave your jeans in the dryer and you didn't take them out right away, they need to be ironed. So it's just a great way to think ahead and be proactive to just make getting dressed easier. And that is the goal of today's video. 
Isn't this also the season for hats? Hats are such a great accessory to make your outfit look complete and chic. You know, jewelry and shoes, of course, are very important, but with a hat, it just gives it that little something extra. It's like a nice handbag that stands out. It's an accessory that pops and can elevate your outfit, whether you're going casual or dressing up. I like to tilt mine to the side a little bit to add a little extra flair. I tuck my earrings back so that I'm sorry, my hair back so that my earrings can show. If you were never a person to wear hats, I say definitely check it out, try it, see which style looks good on you because it can really bring your outfit up a notch. I am back from running my errands and I definitely got hungry while I was out, so I made a little soup and salad. I just have a spring mix here and then my favorite ingredients to put on top is cucumber, tomatoes, spring onions, and then green olives. I have some sliced almonds here too for some added protein. This is just some stuff I had in my fridge that I needed to get rid of. Chris isn't gonna be home for dinner. Kids are working, so it's just me today. And then for my side dish, I have some roasted red pepper hummus. And then I like these little pretzel crisps you get 11 of these is 110 calories so you get quite a bit and you can still keep your calories low so I'm gonna have some of this on the side and we'll call that lunch We have so much yard work that we need to do. There are voles. A vole is like a, uh, a mole and a vermin, I don't know. <laughs> we had a pest control person come out and tell us, but they dig these little burrows underground and yeah, they tear up your yard for sure. It drives the dogs crazy, yeah. But we need to mow the grass. We need to put some vitamins and minerals down. We need to water. There's a lot we need to do out here. It's been so dead and dry for so long that I haven't even thought about tending to the backyard. We have a little garden over here. It's like a little tomato garden. I'm thinking about growing some other herbs in there, maybe like some cilantro and spring onions, simple things like that, a couple of different herbs. Believe it or not, today has been a high anxiety day for me. Maybe some of you can tell, maybe you can't. I've just been trying to stay home as much as possible and just chill. I spent some time outside. You guys gave me some really good advice. A couple of you said when your anxiety is high, go out in nature, go for a walk. And you know, I definitely enjoy taking the dogs around and just soaking up the sun. And then I spent some time in the backyard. And yeah, it's just, it's just been one of those days. There's not anything on my mind. I'm not stressed. This is a thing about my anxiety. It's not like a trigger. Obviously there's a trigger, but there's not a specific thing that I'm thinking about that makes me feel overwhelmed. And I think that's what a lot of people think about when they think of anxiety. But yeah, mine just comes on when I'm calm and chill. It's very annoying. But I'm at this point in my life where I've accepted it and I can feel when it's starting to come on. It feels like an elephant is on my chest. Everything gets really tight and heavy, very uncomfortable. So I'm just taking the rest of the day easy. I think I'm gonna stop vlogging here in just a minute and do um, some breathing exercises. I saw that somebody else who experiences anxiety here on YouTube tried this app and was sharing it with her viewers. I think the app is called Breathe, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna scroll on my iPad and check for something like that and try some exercises. I've never done that before. So I'm curious to see how that will work for me. And I'm just watching on my TV, looking at this stunning view of this cabin with the windows. Oh, I would love to stay somewhere like that. 
But yeah, trying to have chill vibes. I think I'm gonna make some banana bread here in a little bit. Baking is always a relaxing activity that's nice and calm. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope I was able to help you out with some tips in your wardrobe, with your closet, putting together outfits, making life a little easier for you. That was the goal. Don't forget you can always follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm doing in real time. You can check that out down below. I'm also going to list my girls nights and other vlogs if you want to check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day. And until next time, bye for now.